right, we're going to steal this again. Nice big hug right there. Yeah, whatever's comfortable, right? Is that comfortable? <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm just going to bring your hips this way a little bit. Good. That was the one right there. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Crack Addicts YouTube channel, home to chiropractic media. Now in today's video, we've got another big chiropractic adjustment video featuring lots of chiropractors, all your favorite ones. All of the links to the chiropractors will have links in the description to their channel if you wanna check them out, that's where you can do that. Or if you wanna contact them for treatment, that's the way to go. Now for the upload schedule on this channel, I'm going to be posting videos every single day. So everyone's got fresh content every single day to watch. Now I'm going to be posting the content at 8.15. That will be USA time. And for everyone who's in London, that will be around 1.15 p.m. But that's pretty, pretty much it for today's video, guys and girls. So if you do enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. So I'm just gonna put this spine on top of you just to explain what I'm doing. That feel okay right there? Mm -hmm. So basically what we got going on is that this part of her pelvis and the, this part of the sacrum right here is stuck. And because that's stuck, it's causing this area, this it's called your right ilium, to be rocked backwards. When it rocks backwards, or it just rocks forward in general, it causes pain and discomfort right here, which is exactly where she's feeling it too. So all you gotta do is a simple adjustment to be able to fix that and put that all back to where it needs to be, so that way it starts feeling better and she starts to function better. So let me put my spine right over here. And put your head on this beautiful Boston pillow oh, right there. <laughs> We've gotten a few comments saying, uh, are you guys from Boston? But I'm from Boston, but the practice is in Austin. And I went with a Boston pillow, not a Patriots pillow, because I didn't want to lose any patience. <laughs> so I'm going to have you bend this leg like this. Cool. And then I'm going to steal this arm from you a little bit. So you just give yourself a nice big hug like this. Nice. Good. I'm going to bring you just a little bit closer. Good. So in this way, all you gotta do is contact that area and help bring that up a little bit. Good. Just like that. Cool? Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's have you switch over to the other side for me, please. Sound like a bowl of Rice Krispies just pouring on the milk. <laughs> Let's have you bend this leg, please. Good. And then we're gonna steal this again. Nice big hug right there. Yeah, whatever's comfortable, right? Is that comfortable? <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm just gonna bring your hips this way a little bit. Good, that was the one right there. So beforehand, I was I bent her knees up to her waist and she was saying it started to feel like a lot of discomfort right inside here. So now, let me know if that feels a little bit different when I go like this. It does, actually, yeah. the right is relieved and I feel it more on this side now. Yeah, so that just means that we're already starting to make a change, which is good because it's been there for so long that now her body's trying to change it up a little bit, which is perfect. Yeah, and now we got a lot more spring in there. Beautiful. And then we start working our way up the rest of the spine. So yeah, years and years of doing bodybuilding and different weightlifting and stuff like that, if we're not addressing our spine and really addressing how it's moving, it can start to get stuck in some areas and cause that discomfort and pain. Cool, what I want you to do is I want you to give yourself a nice big hug like this. Actually, I'm gonna have you go more like that. Sweet. And I'm just gonna roll you over this way a little bit. Again, I'm just gonna contact this one area right here. Good, I want you to take a big breath in. And let it all the way out. Perfect. Yes, ma'am. You're not one that really speaks a lot. These, these are making me feel great. <laughs> you can relax those hands. This is definitely a lot of tension that's been built up for a little while. Perfect. Now, a lot of it really does stem from what's going on in the upper neck. And that if there's anything going on in the upper neck, any misalignment or areas that are stuck, it's going to affect your brain stem, which is pretty important. And you're literally, once you start to get that corrected, you can start to think better, have better control over your emotions, uh, 
variety of different aspects right there too. When we were doing our exam, we found that there was an area in her upper neck that was misaligned. Yeah, and the lower neck. Good. Yeah. And right here. So it's just a little adjustment up in the upper neck on this left side right here. So you just want to do a whole lot of nothing. I'm just going to put your hand right there. And I want you to lower that shoulder a little bit for me, too. Perfect. Good. I'm just going to get right on that. Perfect. Good. Nice and simple, just like that. Good. And then we'll take a nice big breath all the way up here. And let it out nice and slow. Good. Because I want to check out your feet as well. Do you know you're going to get your feet adjusted today? No, but I'm excited. <laughs> okay, cool. Did you know that chiropractors adjust feet? I did. Okay, she knew. Not a lot of people know. <laughs> but she said that she's rolled her ankle before. You said it was back in like high school? Yeah. Yeah, in high school. So 26 bones in each foot. And the way we like to adjust feet is we basically just want to find areas in the foot that aren't moving properly and make them move properly. And it takes a little while just because there's so many different bones. Right inside here. And especially as a personal trainer on your feet all day, it can definitely cause a little bit of discomfort. Right inside here. Oh. There. Oh, that one got an O. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your talus right inside there. So the talus is, ooh, that's way better. Talus is one of the only bones inside the body, but especially inside the ankle, that doesn't have any muscle attachments onto it. So it's more prone to becoming dislocated or just falling out of alignment like that which will screw up your entire gait when it's like that. Yeah. I think that had to move. What do you think? That felt real good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And as long as you still have 10 toes when we're done, I did a good job, right? Yes, you're off the hook. I guess I'm off the hook. <laughs> yeah, so right in that head. And believe me, we adjust some nasty feet inside here, some stinky feet. So we got lucky with, with these ones. No, these ones are okay. Believe me, one of my patients, he works as a plumber. And he came in after after work and whew, he took off his socks and everything too. I'm like, man, you can keep those on. <laughs> so right inside here, so it's actually the navicular on this one. So right inside here. Beautiful. How'd that one feel? Really good. Oh, yeah. And then the cuboid. There we go. Right here. Nice. Beautiful. And whenever I'm done with the feet, I always slap them. <laughs> that's a good slap. Yeah, that's a good slap. Let's have you sit on the hip and swing your legs around this way. And then can you explain a little bit about how you feel and like how it feels different? I think before I felt very, um, just like, kind of like I was crammed into a box, I think is the best way to explain it. And now I feel very loose, like everything, it, I feel very like in place, aligned, I guess is the best way to That's explain it. That's a great way it. to put it, I like that. So now that she's back in alignment, we can do a, our, our evaluation to see how much better she's getting and then let her know more about how we can continue to improve her ability to function correctly, both in here and out when she's doing personal training. Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. Right in here to the base of the occiput and drop these shoulders. Drop. Mm. Now, let's do the other side. What'd you think of that one? That was amazing. <laughs> What'd you feel? It, like, release. Because it's like so much tension. Like, it's been over for a long time. So, yeah, that was good. All right, awesome. We're going to do the other side? Yep. All right. Turn this way now. Keep turning. Keep mm -hmm. turning. Let this fall. What do you think of that one? Ooh. Did you? I was expecting it. <laughs> so let your chin tilt back just a little bit. Good. Do you feel that stretch? Mm-hmm. Big breath in and blow it out. 
Whoa. Oh, whoa. What did you feel? Oh, man. Got it. Do another one at the base of the neck. Um, drop down. It's just one. You hear it? Yes. Drop your arms to the sides. Good. Take a big breath in and blow it out. Good. Lie on your side facing me this way, please. And scoot your hips so your belt is all the way at the edge here. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. No, this way. Oh, yeah, to the edge. Yeah, both legs straight and only pull up this top knee. Perfect. Like that, like this. Got it. Oh, Where did you feel that one? I felt it like over here, which is really good. <laughs> That's so good. Come this way now. Move your hips closer to the edge again. Okay. The reason we do that is so that, oh, that's the messed up shoulder. The messed up, yeah. Which one, the right one or? Yeah, yeah. the left. The left one, I mean. Mm -hmm. Good. So, let's see what I can do on that. Come sit at the end of the table. And then drop that down. Bring this arm back like this. Drop your, got it. It's kind of right in there too, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna set this humerus down a little bit. You feel the whole arm go? Yeah. So I felt the whole arm go like <laughs> <laughs> come stand and face us this way. And now try the shoulder. It's just a little like tight when I do this, but it's way more motion. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.